Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. We are here with a new tutorial about level head. If you open new project and go to one of your elevations, you can see your level head here. By default, this is our level head. With selecting your level head and going to its properties, you can change it to different colors and patterns. You can use it with circle or no bulb and that's all. So let's create our own level head. Go to your file and select new, go to family and from here go to annotation. Select your level head and open. There is a little note here which says this is where our level will be shown in project and we can create our shape here. So let's delete both of them. Set your unit first. If you go to create tab, you can see that there are a few options here. We will use only line and field region, but we can also use masking if you want to hide something or mask some regions. And also we can use symbols. Now let's draw our level head. Select line and with these options, you can create your level head. You can use reference line to align your shape and lines. And also if you want to have equal gaps between your lines, you can go to create and select align. Then click on your line and then click outside. With selecting this EQ here, you will have equal gap between your sign. You don't need to lock it, but if you move one of your lines, all of them will move and this will help you create the best gap or distance between your line. Then you can just delete this. To fill in your shape, you need to go to create and select build region. Then with pick line option, select your shape uh, or the region that you want to fill it and hit finish. As you can see, our region is filled with black color. To change this one, you can select it and go to edit type. Here you can add patterns or different colors for background and foreground and also you can change the weight of your lines here now let's check our shape load it to your project go to one of your elevations select your level go to edit type and in symbol choose the family that we created hit apply and ok as you can see it's so large and we need to make it a smaller go to your family here we need to use a scale option but because of this field region we can't use that so delete your field region select your shape and click on a scale now choose a point and make your shape smaller let's try it again This is good, but we can still make it a smaller. Now you can use fill region again. As you know, each level has two texts. One is level's name and another is a number which shows that level's elevation. Now to create these, we need to use label. Go to create and click on label and click. In this view, we have few options, but we only need elevation and name here. Add parameters to label parameters and in here we have our elevation and we can add prefix or suffix to it. For suffix we can use M or double M for metric or millimeter and for prefix we can use plus or plus minus sign to show the location of your levels. We don't need to add minus sign because Revit automatically adds them. Now you can move your elevation to a place that is appropriate and from here you can set its alignment to center middle left or light i will use left alignment for it and then in edit type you can change its color 
its line weight its background which you can use opaque or transparent if you want to see lines or text beyond your label if you check here you will have this border around your label in the project and with this number you can control it this part is for text you can change the font size and you can use bold or italic for your font now create another label and use name as a parameter again you have the same options here and you can put it on left and change the appearance the color the font size background and borders for this too let's check this in the project It looks perfect here, but we can change the size. And also we can just make this line smaller. Now to add plus or plus minus sign to your elevation, you need to select your elevation and hit edit label. We can't put plus or minus in perfect because they will be fixed and this might cause problem in lower levels. So we need to create a formula for this. Give it a name for example plus sign. In discipline common is good. Change types of status to text. Now I'm not expert in coding and formula, but here I have found out to fix this problem. I start with if and then select elevation here, put equal sign and go with zero. Make sure you enter the unit. Use comma. Use quotations to show what you want Revit to put as prefix in your level. Open your character map. In here, find that plus minus sign. Select it, copy it, and paste it here. Use comma again and just put an empty quotation here. Because we used if, we need to put these in parentheses. Let's see if it's working. Yes, we have our sign here, but it is in the wrong side of the number. So go to annotation and select it. And from here, move this up. Okay. And load it. Now, perfect. This is for ground level and zero elevation. To add plus sign here, you just need to do the same thing, but without adding plus minus sign. You just need to repeat the process again. Select plus line and from here, copy the formula that you created. Add new formula, give it a name, put type in text, add this here. We need to do two things. Change this sign to only plus and change this equal sign to, to this one, which says if elevation is bigger than zero, use plus sign. If not, use nothing okay now move this upward and click okay let's test it our plus line is here as we created it so yes that's it you can try and draw different the styles and shapes here instead of this but these two are basically the same and you can use it for all of the level heads that you have here are different styles that you can use for practice or you can just add them to your template and use them in your project i hope it was useful for you if, if you have any comment or question leave them in comment section below and i will try my best to answer them finally if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and like because it will help me to create new tutorials for you see you soon